So the next step after we've installed the cans is to put the rear timing cover on. Uh, this is where I'm starting to have to go looking for bolts and stuff. What I realised is that head down there is the original one and I've put pretty much all the bolts back in that. So after a half an hour of panic searching I found them all in that one. So I've uh, just given this a bit of a tidy up. We've got the can gear here. It's got to go on it. Um, and all its bits here. I'm just following the assembly procedure in the book. What I'll do is I'll try and remember to put a link to this uh, manual in the description for anyone else who's doing RV stuff and uh, so they can find it. Um, it is on my face Facebook page. There is a link to it there. So maybe I'll just link to my Facebook page so you go there instead of uh, leaving my stuff. So this is the first pulley that's going to go in. Just like this. The can cover is 6.3 to 8.3 newton meters. Next to nothing. Uh, so now we've got to... So I've already got the front oil seal is in there. Uh, it was seated all the way in too. I didn't need to get a socket and knock it in. The exhaust side just slipped in with my fingers. And it's fully seated. I mean, I had to push it, but it just went in with my fingers. So, yeah. Pop this on here. Bit of oil. Can't be that hard. Again, this is all just been this is all been cleaned up previously. There is a, a locating slot inside here that aligns with the um, knock knock whatever they call it knock pin on here. This should just slip on. Like that. That's home. Then the washer, and it says chamfered edge to the inside. That's the chamfered edge. Put oil on that. Slip it in. Bolt with oil on the threads. So whatever size, it's like about a 16. And that bolt gets torqued to 123 newton meters to 132. Okay, here's what I need for the first time, my new torque wrench. This bad boy. I haven't needed it yet. So, what did it say? It was 120 something newton meters. This is RB25, DET, yes. This box got RB20, RB25, and RB26 in it. And 8.5. Let's just take it to that first. And I need my assistant here to hold the cam still. Tight! You see, this slips away real quick, so if you're not straight. Get your head in line with it. So, so if you're not straight, it'll slip out. Okay. This cannot move. And it's oh, steady. It should be okay because it's sort of leaning against the head a bit there. But you have to squeeze it tight, make sure it doesn't slip out. So this is not final torque. Check that I'm on the right numbers. This is only 108 newton meters. This is not the final torque number. You're right? Yep. You're not right. Alright, that's as tight as we're going to do it then, is it? Alright, swap jobs. Let's 
let's uh, let's just do a test of this. Wind it off a bit. See if it clicks. At a lower setting. Make sure it's not a problem with my new tool. 52 newton meters. Take it. Bolts in there. Slip it all the way on. Yeah, clicks. Okay, that's 108. So that's what it was at before. So we need more. Now you got a feel of the right, how it how it clicks and stuff. Two is the high end, so I'm happy with that. Take hold of it. Take control, boy. Not strong enough. It's longer, so it's more leverage. And if the jaws stay where I tell them to, should be golden. The right, get the wrench. Can you wind it back that way a little bit? Tension on it. Kick on, kick on, kick on, kick on. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Go whenever you're ready. That's it. Golden. So that's in. Then we put spring on. Uh, I, I don't need you now, mate. Oh, actually, I might need you to hold this. All, this spring's a pain in the ass. So this spring's going to go in here. And then this plate's got to go on over the top. So what do I get you to do? There's four bolts here. Just going in. Right. Other side, other side. You get two in on good. In? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Two in eight. Two will hold it and I can do the rest. So we've got the two covers, two bolts in the cover there. These are done up to... One point five to two point five Newton meters. So I'm gonna call that whatever I get it on the screwdriver. They're not gonna shake out with that spring load on them. I don't have any way to measure torque. So it's small. Just gonna do them up in like a wheel stud pattern. meters is nothing. Okay, install the cam timing pulley exhaust side. Which is just uh, four bolts. So, four bolts here, four holes here, boom. Easy as that. So this has a hole for the knock thing. Whatever they call it, not uh, whatever I said before. The plate goes on the outside. It's like a washer. I will need my assistant again because you do have to hold this still again while we talk this up. 14 to 19 Newton meters. There in 11. Oh, actually, that's where I want it anyway. Ty! Need you back, mate. So, next thing is to put the uh, bracket on here for the cam angle sensor. So, 
My son's outside there, degreasing that because that hasn't been cleaned up. This pretty much has been. So we can insert it in here. And that is not many torques at all. TC solenoid, 23 to 34 foot pounds. Uh, Newton meters. Newton meters. Is it Newton meters? Newton meters. The first one number is always Newton meters. So I'll slam that in while he's doing that. And dunk. Get some oil in that bad boy. Lovely. this doesn't seal you will have an oil leak so I might even be able to actually use a torque wrench on it we've got a deep socket and I'm careful of that because there's not a lot of torque so if I can just get it on it should be right like something retarded looking material that's 27 I think the other one goes down that small it's not a lot there we go that's that bit done. Wipe off the oil spillage that came out when I put it in. And in a couple of minutes time, I'll have the bracket for this and she'll be on. So I'll have a break while he finishes cleaning that for me. So, the last thing I've got to do is put this bracket on. Pull these bolts out that I had holding the place of oh, this one now the manual does not tell me what the torques are on these so I will take a punt and do them up not too tight short one in the bottom two long ones in the tops it's higher okay so this one needs to go in there maybe and that one goes in here this is the real beauty of having the spare heads and engines uh, is the fact that I can do this I can leave these stored in the uh, spare components and the holes are going so I know where they go why is that bottoming out is that not all the way in pretty solid Thread damaged. The other thing is, um, I've got spare bolts if I need them somewhere. Thread looks fine. Why? Why? Oh why? So I went fishing through my spare parts tub over there, full of head bits. Found another one of these, uh, which is shorter than this one, and the same length as the other one. Why that one's there, I don't know. But that one should be right. By the way, I've got the right bolt on there now. I wonder if there's a series 1 to 2 difference that could impact something there. And if there is a series 1 to 2 difference in the heads, if one's a series 1 or a 2. I know that none of them are um, Neo ones, but they're all 33s, I think. Okay, about that many torques, that many torques, that many torques. Alrighty, and last is this, and this is a bitch to get lined up because it spins around. Every time you go to put it in. That's promising. Boom. Where's the bolts for that? Here. Uh, 
except it's not the right way around. Got the splines to line up, but I rotate this. Where they line up, there we go. Wonder if I'm going to take any of this off to get the uh, cam belt on. Probably. This mark here should line up with that, at least for the previous tune. So that's where it's going. It will be adjusted by the tuner as I see fit. I don't have a timing light. So I can't actually set the timing. I could buy a timing light, but it's kind of pointless. Unless it doesn't start at all. In which case I'll borrow one. Okay. That's the head pretty much assembled, ready to be bolted on. Can't remember what goes on there, but this bolt does go in that hole. So I don't lose it. So that'll hold some sort of bracket or cover thing or something. So yeah, that's uh, the head done. I'm going to cover it with rags again. Because I don't want uh, debris or dust going in. This has only got oil on it. And assembly lube, so the fact that it's dirty doesn't mean anything. Because all that dirt is the same as what's already in there. And... That'll stop dust settling on the cam or inside the head, shut our window and pack her up boys for the day because I've got to go grocery shopping. So the head's not going to get on today, well maybe it will if I come back later tonight and keep going with it. But um, the next step is pretty much to put it on the head and then probably take half of that timing gear off to put the timing belt on later. But it's all there, I know it's all there and I know where it all goes so it'll be quick and easy to do that when I need to. Um, it does say to put all that on in the book.